The Houston Rockets are currently in 11th place in the Western Conference with a record of 1921. In the introduction to this meeting, they lost to the New York Knicks by 194 and are in a series of three consecutive defeats. In that meeting, Fred Van Vliet stood out with 24 points and all parents son gun with 18 points. The Houston Rockets entered this season with not so high ambitions. Several years have passed since James Harden left the team. And since that moment, the Houston Rockets have failed to play a serious role in the league. They came to represent one of the worst teams, and it was clear that it was time for rebuilding. This season is an indication that the Houston Rockets are doing well in these ideas, for which the great Al Perrin Sengun, whose style of play irresistibly resembles Nikola Jokic, is the most responsible. Jalen Green and Fred Van Vliet are extremely important in the offense, while Dylan Brooks is in charge of the defense. Despite the fact that the Houston Rockets are a versatile and well-balanced team, the impression is that they need an additional score in order to be even more productive on offense. Therefore, only a top-notch offensive-offensive performance will lead them to win in the next meeting, in which it is also necessary for the defense to be at a high level, because the rival is in an extremely offensive mood. The Utah Jazz are in good shape, as they have won six times in the last seven meetings. However, in the introduction to this duel, they lost to Oklahoma City Thunder 134, 129 with 31 points from Colin Sexton and 26 points from Laurie Mark Conan. They are currently in ninth place in the Western Conference with a record of 22-21. For years, Utah Jazz have been considered a team that cultivates a winning culture. In the last 10 years, they were the strongest led by Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert, but even then, they failed to get involved in the fight for something more than a competitive participation in the playoffs. After that, a new era followed, led by Laurie Marcana. And next year, he will answer the question of whether it was the right decision to entrust him with the most important role in the team. After a fantastic last season, he is playing a little weaker now, but that is enough for the rebuilt Utah Jazz to be around the playoff zone. In the last few years, the Utah Jazz have had a very good defense, which is not the case this season when the team is among the worst in that segment. This is exactly what they will have to improve if they want to match their upcoming rival. As well as to be at the offensively high level they have been at so far. They played three times last season, and the Utah Jazz won twice. Absences and injuries. Victor Oladipo and Tari Eason will not play for the Houston Rockets, while Reggie Bullock Jr. is questionable. The Utah Jazz are complete. The weaker the Houston Rockets are offensively, the weaker the Utah Jazz are defensively. Therefore, this match is expected to be uncertain. While the Houston Rockets can outplay their opponent defensively, mostly because of Dylan Brooks, the Utah Jazz cannot as they have one of the weakest front courts in the league and will not be able to answer Alperen Singh-Gunn. Therefore, our prediction is that the Houston Rockets will win by a margin higher than the spread offered. Our prediction is Houston Rockets, minus 4.5.